Okay, everybody, just I want you to pair up on this slide. And who's Native American? Just m pair up with your, someone sitting next to you. It's not a trick question, by the way. Only one. What'd you, what'd you say? I, I said B. B? You said B? What'd you say? C? Damn. Dude. I can't really see A that well, but I guess from uh, the other ones, I'd say B. You'd say B? Okay, well, the answer is A, by the way. The others. Did anybody say A? All right, good. So the others are Siberian, so we're going to come to this. All right, let's do the next one. Which one's of Native American ancestry and which one is of Han Chinese ancestry? And the Han ethnic group is the dominant ethnic group in China. I don't... I'm going to say that the, the one on the right is um, the Han Chinese ancestry, but the, I'm not too sure. The one on the right is Han? What do you say, bro? What did you come to? Left Native American. Left Native American? Right. Is that what you say? The right is Chinese? Yeah? Yeah. The top one is Native American. So, all right, go to the next slide. Asian or European? European or American, bro? European. European? Yeah. Dude, European or American? American? European? Asian? I mean, Euro European or Asian? Asian. Yeah? Dude, what do you got? Come on, man. You, the two of you got to have it, Don. What do you say? I think he's Asian. You think he's Asian? I have, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah? Bro. No, I think he's European. Think he's European? Bro, how about you? It's definitely European. Yeah? All right, so here's the deal. You ready? Can you go back to the map? Let me show you something. Yeah. Okay, so here. Check this out. So here's the map of, of human migration patterns. So notice how coming out of Asia here and out of China, northern China, so the, uh, Mongolia up around here, so people migrate this way. Okay, we also, we're getting new evidence, by the way, of the migration pattern that people actually came across the channels. It's quite fascinating. Stuff is changing a lot, but here's the idea. Genes come this way. Well, how do genes, genes change? The people that stop here and the people that go here, they're the same. They're not any different, genetically speaking. As you start to come down this way, you start to see very different things. But indigenous peoples of the Americas, right, look a lot like people in this area of the world but notice right how it comes this way but so Siberian and the one three of those slides are from those photos are people right here and one is people right here so one is American got it one is Asian slash but it's really in kind of European because they're Russian because Mongolia and Siberia or Siberia is part of Russia and they're really Siberian. And Russia is a European country. And so you could argue that all those folks are European because they're Russia. They're Russian. Got it? You see how, like, the complexity of this? So, but what are they really? And how are they any different? Their DNA is exactly the same. And then we come down here and we have this Native American woman here from this area who looks a lot like somebody from over here that you couldn't really tell the difference because the genes just followed. So I remember I spent a lot of time, I lived in Ecuador for a, quite a while. I was doing my doctoral research there and I would spend time in the mountains. Um, I studied this one particular region, it's a province called As uh, Asuay, in the south central part of Ecuador. And I was going into communities where d they had never seen white people in some of the communities. They were indigenous communities and it was like, except priests who were of European ancestry, but they never had visitors, right? And this is actually a true story. Um, so I, worked, I spent a lot of time with priests and nuns and, you know, a whole bunch, learned a lot about the Catholic Church, that a lot of Catholics, a lot of times Catholics don't want to know a lot of things that you learn from the inside, but it's all good. And uh, I would go into these communities. Now the priests had, the Catholicism had sort of conquered them, right? and imposed Christianity on them, the indigenous peoples. 
and they would show these all the images of Jesus and the images of Jesus are of a white guy with long hair and a beard and I had long hair and I had a beard at the time and so I imagine the priest for generations and generations generations have been saying Jesus Cristo está viniendo otra vez so Jesus is coming again Jesus is coming, he's coming, he's coming. And in comes this guy on a horseback with the priest with long brown hair and a beard and people going up to the priest and saying, Padrecito, ¿está él? ¿Es él? It's him? Is that him? Is that Jesus? Like, it's, re it's really quite a power trip on my part to have people coming down and bowing at my feet and so on. Um, but that's neither here nor there. But I was at, I would be in communities sometimes where I really thought I was in Central Asia, like in the middle of China, because the features, you know, maybe sitting in, in candlelight or something, and the features of people were exactly the same. I really didn't know. I thought I had been transported. Anyway, the other guy is from Kazakhstan, and Kazakhstan is right here. The guy, that is, he, is he Asian or is he European? And Kazakh, he is Kazakh. So if you know, the, is anybody Kazakh in here by chance? Anybody? A couple semesters ago, I had someone who is Kazakh. So he is both European and Asian in a way, but he's really European. Kazakhstan is considered to be a European country. So he's European, but he looks Asian. So go figure.